Tying your resistance band into a closed loop allows you to create inward resistance in from all directions. So I have a closed loop here. All you're gonna do is you're gonna fit your hand in, both hands into like this. And the first drill we're going to do is we're going to push one hand up and one hand down. My palm that's pushing up faces up towards the ceiling. My palm that pushes down faces down. So I'm switching one up, one down, and I'm actually pulling them in, in uh, opposite directions. Now this one goes the other way. As you get more used to it, you're gonna add your hips into it. Uh, one, one thing to help reinforce this idea is actually to just grab onto one end of the closed loop and have your hand in the other end, inside the loop. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna already have resistance pulling down, and the one that's pushing up is actually gonna push up against that resistance. And notice how naturally your body wants to curl in and curl out. I'm exaggerating right, right now, but you, your body wants to start doing this. The reason is you're stronger when you push out from your center. Whereas if I just try to push up from here, I feel a lot of strain in my shoulder, on the shoulder that's pushing up. But now if I start curling in and coming out, I'm actually reinforcing my structure internally first before I push out to here. Now when you add your other hand in there, your, your hands naturally start doing that. So my top hand here actually curls in as I push down. Now when I switch hands like this, it curls in as I push down. Over time, you want to get used to the idea of reinforcing your strikes with your hips. So the hand that's palm facing up, I'm actually going to turn my hip into that motion. And as I switch, my hip turns into that direction as well, here. You can imagine this turns into an also a walking drill, right? So if I walk with my left foot forward, my left hand is facing up. It's going up like that. Now as I step and walk, it's going up that way too.